the ongoing series of leadership and team development today we will be talking on corporate collaboration communication and its impact on the teams so definitely when you talk about collaboration that is working with one another has a very positive uh, effect on the team members because we have face to face interactions we have individual group accountability as far as the social skills and the processing that is the reflecting part is concerned so these are the possible elements of collaboration there is a positive interdependence of each and every member because all the members are very unique as far as the modern day organizations are concerned and they play a very important and a contributive role as far as uh, the organization success is concerned and the role of each and every member is considered as indispensable for the organization working because you know when you talk about the collaboration uh, we talk about the face to face interactions we try and lift each other we try and build a very beautiful team we are concerned with one another so we have a joint success what we talk about so as a team member in a very collaborative way we have the accountability uh, of the individuals as well as of the group members and uh, when you talk about uh, certain social skills that is the communication the communication is also termed as the uh, the essence of the management so you need to be a very very important communicator uh, and in a very very polished way and uh, definitely uh, when you talk about a collaboration uh, of the corporate teams uh there is uh, definitely uh the sharing of the ideas uh you we try and listen to each other not you uh, definitely not in a very offensive way but in a very collaborative manner uh you know when uh, the team members talk to each other there are possible turns and the twist uh, which we try and follow so our purpose as per as the collaboration of the communication is concerned we do not try and uh you know try to settle the score with the team members we should have this kind of an orientation that uh, we are going to reach at some possible solution so uh, in this regard uh, there are some uh, employee collaboration which we talk about so the employees are the team members uh, of the organization and the employer has hired them so it is the prime responsibility uh, of all the employees to work towards the success of the organizations so the employee collaboration occurs when two or more people collaborate to achieve a common goal and of course uh, it differs from a team work because uh, when you talk about a team work there is a physical presence but here uh, there is lot of uh, mental exercise uh, which is there in the mind so uh, the employees can collaborate more easily and conveniently uh, than even before because uh, after the covid uh, 19 we are mostly on the digital platforms where the vital pertinent important meetings take place so uh, when you talk about the employee collaboration as far as the sharing of the ideas are concerned it is uh, even more easier on the e platform uh, to work remotely and share the ideas virtually so this is a blessing in disguise that uh, we are sharing we are connected within no time uh, with just a link Uh, wherein the there is a dissemination of the information number 1 there is a network building number 2 there is a strong communication collaborative uh, communication between the members number 3 and we try to determine and uh, uh, we require a deep connectivity with the members uh, uh, you know having uh, a light on their uh, prioritized areas so we need to uh, definitely consider Uh, whatever the collaboration and the communication what we talk about so we need to consider using the time cards the project codes a questionnaire or simply observing how the employees spend their day so uh, when you talk about the employee collaboration we need to uh, see simply the construct network of the organization the hierarchical structure of the organization and uh, this will be uh, the beginning point of definitely forming a particular team so the crew will already know each other and their working styles so remember that if you want uh, the team members that complement one another not compete with each other so this is the brightest uh, the positive lesson uh, as per as the employee collaboration communication is concerned that each one of us who are the team members of an organization we should develop uh, a very positive orientation with each other rather than to put everyone down to settle the scores and our orientation should not be to win in the team but to find out the best possible solution 
and we should not be reluctant to share the ideas. Uh, we should develop such an atmosphere where there is a successful discussion in person or online and uh, there should not be any kind of a squad of some extroverts who are shouting uh, on uh, over one another. So, this is definitely not considered and not much appreciated. So, try and be docile, simple, cooperative and uh, you know very polite as far as developing the uh, employee collaboration is concerned. This is considered as a very successful feature of the organization. So, we need to assure everyone uh, that uh, whenever we are participating in any kind of a meeting or talking to each other as far as the team cooperation is concerned. So, we should be allowed to be ourselves that is we uh, you know should not be uh, doing such an activity uh, where the masking is required. So, we need to unveil all kind of mask and be original as far as the talking is concerned, team cooperation is concerned. Uh, so, these things will definitely matter a lot. So, we have discussed in the previous uh, part of my lecture about the, uh, the collaborative teams, uh, certain examples and some you know benefits spillover uh, of the collaborative teams are concerned out of which the first and the foremost uh, which we discussed uh, a very quick feedback and a, a quick, quick recap of the, the subjects which we have talked about as far as the collaborative teams are concerned is that if your employees are uh, always confronting with each other. So, the outcome is that there will be a deadlock in the management and you will not be able to have ever uh, the collaborative culture, you will not be able to find uh, the best solutions ever and uh, if you talk about uh, finding some new paradigms, uh, some new frontiers, some new solutions, uh, it will just be a dream, it will not be a reality and of course, uh, nothing will be done timely and people will just be in a very bad culture of louding, shouting, uh, bad mouthing about each other. So, you will not be able to have uh, any outcome where the timely possible solutions can be reached. Not only this, if you are having a very uh, uh, the people in a team of diverse backgrounds and experience, so it will uh, benefit the collaborative team and uh, working together on a particular problem, uh, you know, uh, it might have certain strategies uh, to be involved like uh, some kind of brainstorming sessions the employees may constantly learn from one another. So, the professionals with the varying level of expertise and experience will see the same scenario in some different ways. So, when the employees from the various backgrounds and the degrees of experience are permitted to collaborate, everyone will be benefited. And uh, you know, if you talk about the collaborative teams, uh, we are going to have immensely uh, you know the rise in the productivity which is definitely very very important and in general if you talk about the collaborative communication and the teams so they are going to be uh, easier problem solutions in general and uh, when a team is working on a task for example uh, there may be certain uh, pertinent issues uh, along the road and if there is some tension in the team conversation that friction uh, may be the impetus for a new approach to the problem. So, this is a method via which the new solutions are discovered. So, when you talk about the collaboration among the team members, uh, the what I feel is that uh, you are going to achieve the evolution very, very quickly because uh, as a team member, uh, we talk to each other, we care uh, for each other. So, that kind of a compassion, a conviction, all these things will be, uh, you know, enthusiasm can lead us to a road of success and the only road of success is then when you show a high level of collaboration amongst the team members. So, uh, not only this, uh, if you talk about uh, uh, the remote working style, uh, which is the new now, so working from home or from a distance is becoming more frequent. And the remote workers on the other hand may feel cut off from their co-workers. So, employees who work from the home or who work remotely for example may feel as though they are on their own to promote the team communication and foster a sense of belongingness and make sure that everyone has the access to the information and communicate with one another in the real time. So, to keep the team members in touch with one another, a variety of online collaboration techniques and technologies can be used. So, when the employees believe 
that the efforts are their efforts are being respected and appreciated they perform at their best yes the improved employee well being and engagement so this is, has been proven in many empirical studies that when the employees have a firm belief about the efforts which are probably put by the team members and those efforts are much appreciated and respected they perform at their best and in the digital workplace the employee engagement is very critical uh, to boosting the collaboration so improved employee well-being and engagement the employees uh, become more anxious about their work when they feel as though they don't matter to their employer so this can lead to decrease in their overall happiness and an increase in the absenteeism so as a matter of fact when the employee feels uh, you know not good about it that their works are not being appreciated or uh, it doesn't matter to the employer whether you are present in the office or not or whether you're contributing uh, to their work culture or not so they become very very sad they are very very unhappy so owing to which there is a spill over impact on their well-being and engagement also so they would like to try to disassociate themselves from many of the organizational activities and probably the natural outcome is the increase in the absenteeism so uh, when the employees work together as a team uh, they can see how their contributions uh, how their overall contributions uh, as well as the organizational overall performance uh, you know which increase the job satisfaction so collaboration can also aid in the reduction of the absenteeism and employee disengagement so we have discussed as of now that there are some pertinent reasons uh, for the employee uh, disengagement and absenteeism so the only tool to eject them from the organization culture is to promote the collaboration in a team so when uh, the team work as a team or when the group works as a team there are mutual contributions as per as the employee performance is concerned employee production is concerned so i hope and feel that collaboration is the only tool uh, to eject to reduce to uproot the absenteeism and of course it is going to increase uh, the employee uh, disengagement and promote engagement so Uh, the collaboration has a magical impact on the employee well-being and engagement which is definitely a very important concept now the next thing which i would like to state here is a positive work environment is established when you talk about uh, the collaboration as a culture of the team and corporate collaborative communication as a culture you are going to uh, have a spill over work environment and it is established in a very magical way when you talk about the colleagues the colleagues can get to know one another in a better way form a strong social bonding by working together so the team collaboration for example it allows each person to be acknowledged on their own merits rather than creating a work climate where the employees feel constantly in competition with one another this results in a very cheerful very comfortable working environment and when the employees enter the office they have the assurance that they are amongst the colleagues rather than the competitors so if you want to foster the collaboration the overall work climate will be what you are looking for yes it gives you a very cheerful environment a very comfortable environment wherein you can speak your heart where can be you yourself you can you know conduct in your own particular self and you will find all your friends uh, as colleagues and colleagues as your friends rather than what you were looking before before incorporating the culture of collaboration that is you will only see the competitors so please have that kind of a culture in which only the positivity will prevail 
Now the next is your, there is no longer any vertical hierarchy. Now because of their job title, an employee may have a little hesitant to you know approach and someone in the organization with an idea in the past and the senior supervisors may have to become out of reach for the employees who want to ask them the questions or express concern due to their vertical hierarchy. Now because of their job title like uh, for example you are an assistant manager and you have certain employees under you. So that kind of vertical hierarchy puts some mental pressure that you are junior and you have some senior. So if you are working a team in a very collaborative manner, so there is no longer any kind of a vertical hierarchy that will exist. It will be completely rooted out and of course the senior supervisors, the senior leaders may also become out of reach for the employees if you are talking about the vertical hierarchy. But if you are talking about the collaborative culture, you will completely have a fall of this vertical hierarchy and a rise of collaboration. So the senior supervisors may uh, be available for you to ask any kind of questions, any kind of a query and probably you can also express your concerns. Uh, but you could not have done it uh, if you had the vertical hierarchy. So when you talk about the vertical hierarchy, uh, it promotes uh, you know uh, a bad culture uh, wherein people have uh, you know lot of apprehensions to speak their heart and mind. But if there is no vertical hierarchy and only the collaboration exists, uh, the beautiful culture will always creep in. The next is your, uh, the vertical hierarchy is no longer a barrier to sharing or listening to the ideas from across the table when the collaboration is adopted. So everyone has an opportunity to express themselves. Yes, this is the magical effect of uh, not having a vertical hierarchy and having a collaborative culture. The next is your meeting becomes more efficient as a result of this. The collaborative workplaces are designed to allow the team members to connect with one another at any time and from any location. So employees can start or join a video call from anywhere, removing the need for them to be physically present. So they become more and more efficient as a result of not having a wait for a face-to-face -face encounter to complete their particular task. So actually when you talk about uh, the face to face or not having face to face uh, meetings, the only difference to make a meeting successful and efficient is just the collaborative workplaces. So they are actually designed to allow each team member to connect within no time with all heart and soul to work for the team. They become so efficient because they are working and they have encountered the collaboration. They have discovered the beauty of collaborative workplaces. So they will not compete with their one another or with the team members. They will be having only one approach which is called as collaborative workplaces. The next is your meetings become more efficient as a result of this. For example, every remote employee can set up a functioning conferences from their digital workspace utilizing multiple communication technologies and instead of having a detail everything in a paper or an email to non-attendees during a face-to-face -face meeting. Available team members can join in or you can record the meeting for the team members who are not available. And the next most important aspect as far as the collaborative team culture is concerned is the company's travel cost will also be reduced if, we are, if the collaborative team joins online. So it will allow the employees to collaborate and does not always mean incurring higher travel cost. International, local, 
and the distance personnel can now easily communicate with one another via online communication system. For example, the real time software for the meetings and the communications allow the remote employees also to stay in touch with their office counterparts. It enables them to collaborate with the rest of the team members while keeping the travel expenses to the most crucial in the office meetings to the minimum. So when this online meetings and uh, uh, before the COVID-19 uh, outbreak, uh, the travel expenses, uh, you know, before uh, the COVID and after the COVID, uh, there is a substantial reduction and still the collaboration, communication, meeting conduct, everything is superb. So that means uh, you can collaborate more easily. You can just address uh, the rest of the issues which are important uh, to the absent members just by sending them the recording that what happened in that meeting. So you just see the overall uh, aspects of uh, the collaboration as a center of the team meetings that even if there is no face to face communication, uh, there are no physical meetings, but yes, if only featured, that is the collaborative communications are present, uh, you know, via online culture, a lot can happen, which is definitely very magical and very good for the organizations. The, the travel expenses, which were huge, uh, you know, before this kind of a system was introduced. And if you see now the travel expenses, there is a huge gap analysis. So this has to be reduced, uh, the travel cost has to be uh, minimal uh, because the collaboration communication is on the top. It also aids in the recruitment of elite talent. The job searches, particularly the millennium base their employment decisions on the criteria such as the office setting, a favorable work environment and a variety of other factors that indicate how they will spend their work days. So people in this age range, that is the millennium, for example, are particularly interested in working for a dynamic organizations that will promote the teamwork. And you're creating an ideal environment for attracting the top talent for implementing this kind of a work style. And of course, they are more likely to stay longer once they have been recruited in the organization. So the workplace collaboration allows the individuals to accomplish more and more. And this is a method in which the total and the sum of all the participants contributions is greater than sum of its parts. That is each person's contribution. So the work collaboration, the workplace collaboration, each and every member, if they are tied in this kind of a culture, that is the culture of collaboration communication, there are synergy effects. Yes, sum of individual parts is, you know, less and the total is much more than sum of its individual parts. So employees, Collaboration also, you know, allows the individuals to accomplish more. Employee acquire confidence in taking on the larger assignments. And as they gain the problem solving skills, they may choose to devote their more time and energy to a philanthropic or community initiative. Voluntarily or fundraising efforts made as a group can be more powerful than the individual donations. And not only this, it also encourages the employees to be more loyal to your firm. The employees who believe their employer values them and they are contributing less inclined to leave. And when people complain about their jobs, it is usually not the income or the benefits. Instead, it's about not being appreciated at work. I have seen n number of examples uh, as far as the corporate uh, collaboration and uh, the related issues are concerned. The people who are more competent, more energetic, more, you know, 
efficient in their work culture, but if they are not appreciated in their workplaces, they have likely uh, of this kind of a mind orientation that they do not want to work there because they are not being appreciated at any cost. People will appreciate their work, but as far as their own working place is concerned, they are always rejected in the organization. Their efforts are always, you know, uh, undermined in the organizations. So, the only possibility which is left for them is to leave that organization. So, they have all the possibilities to be less inclined towards the organization and they have, they are left with only one solution that is to leave that organization. They may start and they may say that their supervisor or co-worker do not treat them with respect, with dignity and this is the primary reason why they wish to change their jobs and employees feel more committed to the company and are li less likely to leave when the team works together and they feel their participation will make a difference. So, all these matters a lot and all these you know issues matter a lot. So, what we have to see the solution as far as the modern day organizations are concerned is to find out the only factor to implement only factor that is the collaboration amongst the team members whether they are connected online, offline whether they are not meeting in person, but it is enough for a successful team is that they are working in not in a competition with one another, but in cooperation with one another and the collaboration has a magical impact of tying the entire team in one string and uh, you know you may cut the competition uh, because of the modern technologies in place that is the artificial intelligence, internet of things, machine learning, remote workforce also looks for only the collaboration and not the competition and this is going to make your uh, you know team very very successful, your leaders more efficient. So, as a leader you must appreciate the efforts of the collaborative teams and it is going to magnify uh, the, the overall performance and productivity of the organizations and of course, uh, there are less hierarchy, vertical hierarchy, the less the vertical hierarchy, the better it is for the performance of the entire teams.